Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. Uh, so we're at version 21 now, so it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like 2nd of February. That should give you an idea of when, or sorry, 1st of February. Dude, I, I don't know, man. Like, Canadian dates are fucking dumb. My favorite date format is year, 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 month, month, day, day. It just makes sense. Anyways, uh, just nothing here affects me. I mean, maybe this, but I'm not doing that yet, so whatever. Uh, so welcome back to Factorio, guys. Uh, I actually did this one. Actually, just auto save like right after I saved it. Nice. All right, so welcome back to Factorio. Um, so we're continuing our little quest to the copper. Apparently, there's some trees in the way, but we'll uh, we'll deal with that as we get there. So, like I said, um, I'm leaving it in there. That's why you saw so much editing from me before, because I was basically like, we're gonna do so much combat in this game uh, that like it just kind of made sense to me to basically that when it was slower, it made sense to basically just do this. Because, like, things are so much faster now. So that's why I don't even bother. That's why I didn't even bother. But it does mean I have to eat up all these guys, though. Because I figured you, you would not be short of any combat in this death world. But this is kind of what death world is a lot about. Uh, and the marathon is basically ma makes it about other stuff. Good. I, I, I can't see anything now. I love that. Luckily we have plenty of things to go around so it's all good. Right, I, I gotta eat up all these things, because that's just the way things are now. This is the world we live in. There we go. Because now they can't recharge off my armor anymore. As I said, I wish it was like, maybe like a nuclear-powered fuel, because like, the thing about the other fuel that you see, uh, sorry, the other power source that you see that I can't get until high-tech science, the way that one works is that it's unlimited all the time. Uh, so it's like, oh, well, you know, who cares? Uh, I'm gonna get the rail up here first, actually. Because that's kind of important. Okay, so let's go... Uh, is there something... Oh yeah, there is something up there. Huh. Well, fortunately, it's online, so that's good. Okay. As you can see, they're all out of fucking power now. But that's what's going to happen, and uh, as I said, the only way of dealing with this is to hold right-click and pick them all up. Rest in pepperonis. So, uh, also something else I kind of just uh, considered now. So you see how the pollution cloud kind of is now spreading with my uh, base here? I thought that was maybe the flamethrower, and the flamethrower does generate a bit of pollution, by the way. Because, it's I mean, it's fire and smoke. Like, duh. Come the fuck on, but... Uh, I, in actuality, I think that um, it's 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 actually pollution dissipation because remember what I said about how pollution dissipation works. Um, so tiles will have varying levels of pollution dissipation, but in my particular case, the uh, uh, the biter nests actually do most of the pollution dissipation for me. Believe it or not, um, it's it's kind of crazy, but they are the best sources of pollution dissipation because they eat up whatever the fuck they want, and then they, you know, uh, give it to you after, so, you know. Uh, I'm running out of rail signals. Oh, well. That's okay. I'm going to take the car up a little bit further here. Alright. Luckily, the biters don't attack this, so we can just do whatever the fuck we want. So, I'm just going to continue putting this up. Because I don't think there's anything else up here. We're just going to kind of go up there to a point where we can kind of split off. That oil is completely not worth. Oops. Okay, I may have fucked this. Uh, maybe, maybe we can maintain the illusion of stealth right now. Oh, oh, stealth over. See, they, they don't- they, I can even build rails over them, they don't care. 
it's actually just one of the weird things that you can kind of like i wouldn't say it's like it's kind of like bending the rules of the game i guess it's not really cheating i mean how's that cheating at all oh no you put rails down actually that's dude that's a, that's the next little strat actually put the make the death trains go into the fucking the biter nest with rails and, and from long range who needs artillery trains oh we gotta make that fucking happen all right we just found the next level strategies of factorio How many wounded do I have? Five. Let's, okay, one bot got destroyed. Alright, well, there's another nest right here. Uh, let's see what evolution factor is at. Uh, yeah, there you go, 0.88. Not dire yet. That is a lot of fucking biters there. Uh, we have issues here, actually. I'm surprised that these were able to handle this to begin with, actually. That's actually surprising me. Alright, well. Kill that. Alright, so we're running out of turrets-ish. We can dip, but that's easy that's an easy way to get them back. I think the the chest is now basically full of them. Let me turn off pollution, because I literally can't see shit. Yeah, there's like 176 in there. So I I mean I, I told it to just like make like several stacks of the stuff, so. Well well maybe well maybe uh, we'll maybe go swing by there and get grab that. Unfortunately, these bots keep trying to repair, uh, like, fucking fuel up, I guess. I mean, very easy trip to make. I'm just wondering if, uh, I probably should bring some materials for some more, uh, signals and stuff, but I'll, I'll, I'll continue this, just in case I run out of something else. Like, it looks like we actually might be out of underground pipes soon as well. So, yeah, this is, uh, this exhibition is going pretty good. Like I said, this is just how we're going to do all the, all the rails in this game. So when I want to go down, let's say, to that one, that's how we're going to do it. Just kind of checking a lot of my resources here. Right, yeah, coal is actually getting eaten through pretty, I wouldn't say substantial, but... It's more than I thought it would would need, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, we're definitely running out of underground pipes too. Luckily, uh, luckily I came prepared for that. Uh, actually, how are we doing for lights as well? Lights are lights are extremely important for seeing things. All right, you guys good? All right, how many turrets do we have left? We have twenty eight. All right. We're gonna just put these down because this makes it so that if they attack this, it's fine. So yeah, so basically the reason why, yeah, you, the reason why you see like a pollution cloud going up, whoops, that's not pollution cloud. The reason why you see a pollution cloud kind of coming, drifting through here is because of the fact, as I said, I'm clearing out the biter nests to get over there. So no matter what, they're actually gonna just attack all parts of the wall. There's actually nothing I can do about that. Uh, there's, there's nothing I can build that, or nothing I can do to alleviate that, believe it or not. Uh, it's just something else. So it's just I have to deal with that. Um, that's just how it is. Game is hard. Fuck. This is what I was worried about. Is this thing being here? Is that a drive right into it? Now here's the thing. Can, where where can the robot ports? Go? Can they go here? I mean, they can, they can kind of go in between these actually. So we're fine. I'll probably just put, that's where I'll put the robot ports when I get to that point. How is this going? Not too shabby. Yeah, it's still completely full of everything, so maybe we want to get some more steel chests. I mean, there's really no other place to put Uranium-235, let's be honest now. So these, these suckers are just going to be going all the time, and I, I'm perfectly fine with that. Looks like iron is coming a little bit like not down the line as much as I would like it to, but yeah. And like I said, that kind of causes a production issue here. But I, I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. Like it's just, I mean, it's it's the factory is diverting it to steel, uh, which the steel is getting kind of full. And also, yeah, it's not completely saturated. It looks like the line. 
I don't know. I mean, we, we, we are aware of this issue too. Like, these furnaces aren't putting it down, but we need the next level belts to fix that. I mean, I, I could have made that layout a little bit better, and I'm now regretting I didn't. Well, I mean, you know, I'm not regretting it that much. I mean, I could totally fix that, actually. Here's what I would have done. I would have had the red belts kind of meet in the center and maybe go down the middle or something. That's how I would have done it, actually. Like this, they would go down the center. But the thing is, it's just it's so fucking bad, though. Why do they do that? I, it makes me upset, man. Like, why do, it makes no sense. Like, look, it's a fucking, it's a fully saturated line of, of, of iron ore coming in. All right, which uh, apparently it's not coming into that side. What, why, what's your problem? Okay, apparently we don't have enough iron ore trains now running. Yeah, they're, these guys are all still filling up. But like, it makes no fucking sense why it does that. It's so annoying, dude. God damn. Uh, and apparently I didn't set myself to do not disturb on Discord. But that's okay. Take that as a, a, a fucking Discord advertisement. There you go. Mike Lott endorses it. Um, Alright. So I took a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, underground pipes. We need all of those. I'm gonna have it make two stacks. And do I need lights? No. Do I need rails? Maybe. Just take a bunch of that. There you go. Alright, we're good to go again. I don't need batteries. Like my, my fucking actual internal battery doesn't never works now. Honestly, I don't even know why I bother putting solar. Pa well, actually, I put the solar panels in for the other stuff. Oh, right. I was gonna do things here. Can I make one more. I totally can. The fucking maze continues. Oops. I don't know why I keep turning around every time. There you go. More chests for uranium 238. We don't really have much of a use for it, but we don't want to just destroy it. Um, yeah. So that's what we do. All right. Onward. You know, it, it's funny because I'm, I'm right now tunneling to more additional copper, but in actuality, I think I'm going to need to tunnel to more iron. Do it, well, I mean, I, I don't have to tunnel to iron that far. It's just like right there and uh, I mean, that's a really shit patch. This one's okay, though Actually, we can eat up from that one, too. Is this one like starting to run out here? Starting to starting to so I can start like eating that one and put it into the same line there And I love the I love the smell of biter corpses in the morning all right. Uh, I guess there's nothing else right now, so let's just uh, continue this. Uh, did I need more poles? I may have needed more poles, but I can make 10 more, so it's okay. All right, mining productivity finished. There's number five now. I thought the one I was doing required more. I don't know. I mean, we could do research speed too, but the thing is, like, it's not a speed issue, it's a supply line issue. And so, I mean, it's the only way to fix that is to get another line of uh, iron going. Uh, we definitely don't need that. This is very useful, but we need blue chips before that. Um, mining productivity is the thing that immediately kind of helps us, but the resources it requires is insane. Maybe, maybe we should do uh, lab research speed. No. No, we really shouldn't. Maybe train breaking speed? I mean, that's a simple one. Fuck it, sure, why not? I mean, at this point, like, we, we have all our important researches out of the way, so it's more about, like, um, we're, like, uh, like, I'm not even actually exaggerating this. We're, we're tunneling to resources for now on. All right. So let's, uh, let's kill these fuckers. over here you can kind of see it bouncing slightly but that's fine like that like this actual production is actually like a hundred percent based upon the amount of steel I'm able to support 
Oh, we lost a bot somewhere. Oh well. There's plenty more where that came from. At all of them? Yeah, some over there. Man, I should've totally made a flamethrower, just so I can burn down these forests. But actually the bots will handle that pretty well. Alright, so we're pretty much almost at the top. Uh, I'm very sad that I didn't just get like a, a bonus resource like immediately. Saddest story of my life, what can I say? I was actually, I was kind of crossing my fingers that just tunneling up here would have netted me something over here, but it looks like there isn't anything here. But luckily, the thing is, because we've gone up here anyways to get that, um, I mean, we're still going to get a good amount of, like, there was no other real copper to get other than, like, I mean, that's actually the only copper to get. There's, like, these two stupid patches here, but it's whatever. So if we, if we need iron, we can just get these two. It also gives us, nets us some coal, too, so it's, like, not a total loss. Holy shit, the amount of bots that are out there right now. Fucking hell. As I said, it, it would make the game much smoother if there was some kind of like... As I said, if it was nuclear fuel, then it would make sense because it would it would fit the whole mid-game... Uh, mid-game thing. Like, you know, having to fuel... Because I know you have like solar, but maybe like, maybe you become a, a, a source of pollution for this game. I don't know. It'd be pretty funny. Alright, let me just eat these guys all up because, yeah, there's so many of them. Alright, actually, wait a second. Fuck. How the fuck did this happen? Okay. It was fine before, fuck. Alright, so they were both on the same side, which is not what we want. Someone dropped the ball. Yeah, these two. It was over here. Because it can technically go in both directions because of the way I've done this train, but I have to... tell it not to. Oh, I, I think maybe because it's not a loop, it considers it, like, weird. I don't know, man. But I, I was putting it on the insides. What was I doing over here? Yeah, insides. Okay, so let's keep it on the insides then. I'm, I'm not sure why it... Uh, I mean, uh, over here it doesn't regard us two-way, but this way... It's so weird, actually. Why does it do that? So, like, it, it's allowing me to... Okay, that's why, because I still had one revving up. Yeah, it was regarding it as, like, a two-sided railway, but we want, we want it to be one-way. Uh, we don't want it to be anything other than that. All right. So we're almost at the end of this guy. Um, oh, this is a stone patch right here. Um, we'll label it as such. I actually didn't even see that. Look how much it blends in, though. It's just stupid. I, I bet it's even worse. Like, this is why I've been hovering over the the, the stuff here. Like, like that. Like, here you go. Iron. I barely saw that one. Like, I, this is why I keep hovering over stuff like this. The color scheme, it leaves a little bit to be desired. With that, but, I, I mean, you can't normally catch it that easily. Alright. Oh, that's, oh, right there, look at that. How the fuck can you see that? But that's why I start doing this now. Because, this way I can, if I need to go to it, I can actually see it. Wow, there's a 1 million coal patch right here. Lucky me. All right, well, let's um, show these biters how lucky we are. All right, so we're going to have to do some funky shit here, uh, particularly with turning around this, this guy. Yeah, whatever. So let's, uh, let's first kill these assholes. Do I have to kill this guy? Yeah. Uh, we'll just say yes. As I said, luckily, these guys are now really good at killing nests. Um, 
way better than any weapon I would have. Because imagine, like, there's nothing to defend me against the infinitely spawning hordes, you know, all that kind of stuff, so... Uh, as I said, the only problem is, like, they just need so much energy now, so... This shit's overpowered. Like, bots are just so fucking good at every stage in the game, I think. Like, they barely take any damage. They have, like, 1,000 health. It's, like, more than I have. I think. Alright. I think we need to get that top nest, too. Might as well. Alright, destroy that. Destroy these. Make sure that we eat these all up. Like I, I, it's like I told you, there would be plenty of combat. This is why I, I kind of skipped in the early game because it's more monotonous than. I mean, if you think this is monotonous now, just the amount of repetitiveness that I'm doing right now. I don't know, man. I, I just I figure I'd leave something in at some point. I, I wouldn't cut it out. Me going all the way up to something, all the way. But it's kind of like it, it is. It is mostly about the death world settings. That's why this is. Uh, this is, this happens the way it is. All right. Let's see, how many rails do I have? Not a lot. In fact, I think I'm basically. I uh, know I'm not out, but I'm almost out. So we need to basically cut into here. Um, now the thing is, I would like to make this into a circle. Actually, I have more rails than that. What the fuck? No, I have way more rails. What the fuck am I talking about? All right, here's what we're gonna do. I think right here. I think that's a good place for it. Yeah, and then you just go to the side here. So this now becomes kind of an issue because yeah, you've been seeing me do this this whole time. Uh. So now we need to figure out how we're going to do these sides. Oh my god. Uh, I think I was going to use like this wall layout. Oh my god. Doesn't actually work like that. Whatever, it's good. So, the pipes don't actually go uh, onto this side, so I'm going to have to do something a bit better for that. I'll have to figure it out. Probably gonna be something along the lines of just like come over here instead. Yeah, that's my bots. <laughs> you beat power, sir. As I just put them into my, my inventory. Alright, because we want these flamethrowers to be fueled, so. There. This is kind of what's going to have to happen. There you go. Uh, and actually, this is the most garbage fucking thing I've ever seen. I need to maybe make a special layout for circles like this. Because... Quite honestly, like, the wall doesn't actually need to do this. Alright, you know what? I may have just changed my mind. Why am I using this? Alright, yeah, whatever. Let me pick you all up. Alright, this is obviously not- this is not a good layout for this particular case. Because the thing is, though, once it gets past this- you know what? Actually, we can just do this. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just do this. So we miss a couple of laser turrets. What's the worst that will happen? They kill us? Yeah. Yeah, no, no that's not happening. I think, I think this will be fine. Are we out of flamethrower turrets? No, we're not. Just not placing them. We can't tell anymore because we constantly have that fucking error now. All right, go, go my little bots. See, now we've reached a point of which we're actually super efficient at placing stuff. The bots just never recharge though. 
I have to manually do things. All right, so because of the way uh, I did this, that can actually be kind of like on the rail line. Wow. I actually kind of didn't expect that. All right, where's the light? All right, so this is going to be our very special place here. Uh, hopefully they'll never come over here, but I'll just in case I'll add like some more lasers. How many lasers do I have? I have a lot of lasers. All right, so we are not laser shy here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed of this thing I was attempting to do. Just, it was, I don't think it was necessary to do. All right. Uh, let's see here. Now, I mean, this one is actually going to bend, though. Like, this this one actually is going to. So, I don't know. Let me, let me just, like, start laying this out, like, as if it's off the track now. Uh, sorry, it's all it's all out of the circle because like I, I need loops in the line. That's just how things are. I need loops because I may decide that there's something over here or like, oh, maybe I want to go for that iron patch. Who knows? Who knows? And then like having to build this later, maybe I should have just built it later. Honestly, now I think about it probably would have been a smarter move, like just build it as I need it instead of like doing this plan. But I don't know. I like loops in my line, man. And now I don't even know how to get it to go down there anymore. I really don't. Actually, it's actually not that hard. Let's do this. And then do something retarded with it. That's fine. Yeah, whatever. Go go do your thing, bots. It's actually one of the saddest things you've ever seen. Alright. So why is there no oil coming into here? It apparently decided right after this one that that's why all right uh so that's kind of a little bit more along the lines of what i want to see out of my loops kind of like that um all right so how many how many spaces this away i made it like two so let's just try and like do something two spaces away and just, just kind of see how that works yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That'll work. Which means we don't need so many flamethrower turrets here. These bots need to be like, you're in my way, sir. Yeah, this is what they do until they run out of power. So you just pick them up. There we go. All right. We're out, of, we're out of walls, too. Okay, get rid of these. All right. Eventually, I'll probably line this up with more stuff. Anyways, where's our, where's our wheels? Uh, we also don't have a radar dish down there, and we also need more radar dishes, period. Luckily, I can make a lot of them. Where's my car? There it is. Alright, so... Because we did make it all the way to this little corner here, right? We do want to... Well, first off, let's get some more walls out of this car, because it's nice. Wow. We've been actually eating a lot of fuel in this car. So, because we did make it over here, we want to radar dish this up. Because we want to try and scan this way. The hope is still that we're going to find uh, a very nice base somewhere nearby, but you know. Your dreams can't always come, come and be true. Alright, so this needs to be something like this, actually. So, we're going to have to make that happen. Huh. Huh. Oh, this game sucks. <laughs> I can't fucking lay out anything, man. Oh, uh, yeah, fucking come into my inventory, you fuckers. 
Yeah, so this this rail line just happened to be just in the way of this, so. Um, okay, I, I have an idea of how to deal with this. And we just make a loop here. There you go. Is it literally awful? Probably. And we're out of power lines too, so we can't even continue this now. Uh, well, let's have a look here. So we're almost there. As I said, having these forward outposts is still probably a good idea. But this will definitely solve our copper problems at least immediately. I mean, it won't solve our iron problems that we have now. I mean, iron problems are actually the thing that we're having right now. But I kind of want to go up here anyways, just because I want to see if there's oil here. Because that's, that's actually, I think, a much larger issue, um, is where to get the fucking oil from. Um, I mean, I may just actually go down to where I saw the oil earlier, and maybe try and tap into that, but... Kind of didn't want to do that. Alright, so what do we need? We need power poles. Yeah, looks like these, these suckers are still going. So how many laser turrets were made in my absence? 96. So that's pretty good. We will be able to make all the stuff there momentarily. And then I'll get some more uh, pipes while I'm there. While I'm here, sorry, not there. I'm actually here. All right. We can get maybe another stack of light and lamps. Do we need a regular pipes? We probably do need like a two stacks of that. We need eh, probably like two stacks of rail lines too. Yeah, like we got plenty of shit in there. Oh, dude, breaking force finish. That took a really long time, actually. Um, so long that I don't think it's actually worth it for me to actually do that. It took like this entire episode. Um, that's why I said like, fuck it, we're gonna have to go iron, man. God, like I, I've already. I, I mean, I'm, I've tapped into this. I know, but fuck. It, you know what it is, honestly, like like. It's because I'm eating steel from here as well. That's that's I think that's what is mostly doing it. I mean, I have a wind chest full of furnaces now, so it's not gonna eat any more from the steel from that. Because like, if you look at the steel, like, where is it actually going to? It's going to the f the fucking laser turrets. So when I'm doing when I'm combat focused, my factory kind of slows down in other ways. I mean, just uh, what? Where's my car? Why the fuck am I walking around without my car? So, I mean, that's just something that I can't really do much about. Uh, but, I mean, the hope is that there is oil here. I'm, I'm looking I'm looking at the scanning process and it's just, it's not going on, but it's not. But yeah, this was the, I think, the best way of doing this. It's because when the, like, for making the highways that go around, um, I think it's the only way of doing uh, Death World right now in 16. Because otherwise they will just kill the trains. Which is uh, obviously not favorable for us. The trains need to be defended somehow, and the, the walls will do that. Just how it goes. Walls, uh, walls do a pretty good job. It's like they're already like they're already venturing out to things where there's walls. But luckily, as I said, we have copper here, and we're gonna get the other copper mine, and then we're gonna be done with that. So what I will do for next time, though. Uh, I'm, I'm not ending it yet. What, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna commit to at least getting this. What I'll do for next time is I think I'm gonna get capture another iron source. I haven't decided which one yet. Because this one's a pretty large one. So it's either I get the, these ones, which is like about 2 million, and I'd have to make a giant kind of perimeter around that. That's one, oper that's one chance here. Or I go all the way here. Which, it, this has more. Uh, but like, I don't know. Because the problem is that one of these is not going some of the time, and I want to add another one. So, uh, you know what I'm going to actually say? Uh, we're going to get both. Um, we need both. Yeah, we're going to chain signal that one. Chain signal that one. All right. Now, this one might be an issue, but I'll solve this as we deal with this. Apparently, the uh, biters don't like to build in trees. Go figure. 
All right, so now that we kind of know where they are. Oh my lord. Yeah, let's just deal with this for now. There's a lot of biters on that side. Like I said, I'm kind of hoping that I honestly that the my half my hope is that because I'm going to go kind of tunnel to this one and then this one and and then I'm going to tunnel to uh, these two. I'm hoping along the way, uh, when I when I get the radar dishes up there, I, I'm hoping that we're gonna get, um, you know, just like a ton of. Uh, I, I'm hoping we're just gonna randomly find a bunch of uh, oil, because that's that's the one thing I, I I can't see how I can possibly do this run is without oil. I mean, I can make it work with coal liquefaction, as you saw, but then we're gonna have to set up massive coal lines like. I'm gonna I'm gonna have an entire thing dedicated to fucking coal trains, man. And I, I don't know if I don't know if I'm prepared to do that, to be honest. Uh, I I just I, I I I I see a way to win, but I don't like it. Um, I would prefer to take the easier route, obviously, and to make massive expansions to you know to try and find biter oil. I, as you can see, there's a ton of them. Stop killing my bots. They've done nothing to deserve this. Actually, no, they're just murdering you, so I guess I guess they have done something to deserve this. Now we run around a little bit. Probably should take out that nest, too. See, when we automate the destruction of the of the uh, biters, then, then we're pretty good. There we go. Is that it? Well, there's a bit more. I mean, there's a one million patch of coal here. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need that though. Like I said, this one's still at 800, so. But like I said, if we do coal liquefaction, I think two red belts is what we're gonna need. What the fuck? Okay. Apparently, one biter kind of got stuck in the middle of that, and I I could barely see it because it's night and uh, we don't have night vision. Oh, how did that happen? I mean, I, I just can't see shit at night. All right, let's see. Uh, we're running out of uh, we're running out of lasers. Uh, yeah, we're fine now. We're running out of lasers simply because uh, look at all the fucking lasers in <laughs> town. Uh, shit. But we're gonna just clean it up now. That's kind of what happens when you place down a shit ton of lasers is, uh, you get wrecked. So here's the thing, I don't even know if I want to make the trains doing copper quite yet, because I haven't quite scaled that up yet. I, I actually want to get the iron ones going, but I figured, you know what, I started this last time, and like, I, I think our iron production is just too low, so we just have to worry about that now. And this is kind of like, this is what Marathon, so Death World is about, you know, Death World is about getting, like, uh, having like a shit ton of biters and combating them occasionally. That's kind of what it is. Uh, and you can tell like there's a point in the game where like they become, I, I wouldn't say a nuisance, but like you, you kind of have dealt with them. So it's about tunneling your way to resources that you need. Um, and, uh, and, and Marathon essentially is about getting lots and lots of raw resources. So when, once you kind of understand the limitations of Marathon mode, it starts to now all fall into place. So when you combine them both, it's basically about tunneling to resources, but you need a lot of resources. All right, my player, I, I have too much wood, so let me put some of this wood away. Fuck. So 
when you combine the two, that's what the game is about. Um, and it, it, it may not make for like the most interesting playthrough every time you want to play this game. Uh, but like I said, I, I thought the desert theme was kind of neat. Because it means you can't lay low. I thought that was kind of cool. I still think it's kind of cool. Did I not... Oh my god, I left one alive. Oh, well, we'll deal with that soon. Uh, the policy of my glad is no survivors. What will the biters think if I show them mercy? How many walls do I still need? I think I still need a bunch of walls. Alright. Alright, you fuckers, come on. Alright. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of walls kind of going like here. The lucky thing is, we don't have much of a reason to ever leave our safety of our base kind of like this, so. We're almost to the copper, though. Just, I'm keeping an eye. Oh, look at that one. That's a nice stone patch. I like that one. Alright. So, I mean, stone isn't really a huge resource like that we need, as you can see. They make the furnaces, which is used in production science. Production science is still used in a lot of things, but, you know. We typically don't actually really need it. Um... But that is this very nice patch. So that's why, like, I have this patch here, and that will likely also be, like, more than sufficient. Like, this is 102 left. I don't know what started at. I think it started pretty low anyways to begin with. And you just make the stone, and the stone makes the walls, and then that's it. Like, it, it, uh, like the amount that we're using the stone right now, we're actually never going to use it that much more again. Which kind of keys into the fact of why I made, like, two train stations. And one is just purely ores, so all the ore trains are always waiting here. And the other one is purely, um, the purely just other shit. So like, I, oh, did I ever show you guys this? I made a, u the utility refill station a part of the uranium trains. I, I thought that was kind of, uh, clever, uh, that, that, that it just uses two stops there. Uh, but I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that's clever. I'm basically repurposing a, it doesn't have its own station, it just has a, you know, well, it kind of has its own station, but I didn't make a stop for it. I, it was no wasted space on my part. I like it when... I love it when things work out like that. It's so good. All right. Let's just uh, move the car up. Make some more... Signals here. All right. Uh, let's just finish genociding the fucker that's over here. How many turrets do I have left? I have a little bit. Looks like they expanded, actually. Or did I just miss that? It looks like they built more. Maybe this was an expansion. Maybe I did kill them. I don't. I don't. I, okay, I don't really know. I, I actually don't know. It's evolution, I know. So we're almost reaching point nine. Fuck. You built, like, the pipe right on top of me. But, uh, I don't know. I, I think they should fix, like, I mean, this obviously, this, I, I, this exploit of me, like, having unlimited power for my bot, personal bots. I mean... They maybe can fix that, and maybe I'd use, like, RoboPorts instead. Because uh, that's the thing you can put down. You can put down RoboPorts, and they would do essentially the same thing. You just get powered by the nuclear reactors instead. Which is, it, it's not a bad idea. You just put, like, a bunch of boxes and the layouts, and then... That's that's probably maybe the smarter way of doing this, actually, to begin with, but eh. Alright, so there's another biter nest right there. Like I said, we're gonna... I'm gonna finish these assholes up. Uh, how many charts do I have? I have 11. Alright, I was gonna just walk around this. Maybe I should grab more turrets when I was in base again. do I have now? 30, uh, 
Okay, just a little bit less. All right, we can actually we can finish these guys off. Oh, I, I am gonna have to take these uh, these guys though. All right, that is a big nest. But we're gonna just make two lines of turrets here, and that should be good enough to deal with most of them. Oh. 17 turrets. Remember, these use 9 every time, so... What I should do to move up is I should delete some of them. And there you go, that deals with all of them. I still have an SMG, don't worry. We don't have to use the turrets all the time. All right. Uh, we can take out the last one there, and then we can finish the wall around it, and then and then we're Gucci. So this patch here is going to be the big one. I think I'm gonna have like three trains on this guy. Uh, I think we're gonna have to deal with our neighbors down there, actually, to the south. Uh, not a Mexico pun at all. I know we, I know this is full of wall building. I know this has been like Presidential Candidate Simulator 2016 or whatever the fuck. I'm very bad at puns, also I'm Canadian, so... I don't know what that may mean to you, but yeah. As you can see, we haven't even needed to use the fish either. Fish just, uh, were not useful, uh, anymore, really. I haven't used the fish once. I started with the same amount, because the laser turrets are just so good. Alright. Alright, I feel pretty good about this. I know there's one more nest there. I probably will deal with that, actually. What's important is that they're, for the most part, away from me. For the most part. Okay, let's get rid of these. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh my god, there's shit everywhere, isn't there? Yeah, whatever, we get it. You can't recharge. Let's get the last one. Now, there is this copper patch here. I'm not sure if I want to... No, it's like 60k. Who cares? Like, why, why, why spend, like... Immeasurably more resources trying to capture that. Why do biters hate me? Doesn't make sense. All I want to do is get steal their resources and pollute their uh, planet. I mean, I think this is one of those like hidden games where you actually play as the bad guy, sort of a thing. But then again, maybe it's like a, maybe it's like you know, the like kind of like the feral animals on some planet that you crash landed on, which is you know, kind of how the campaign story goes. Uh, which is like you're on a planet, you get you crashed, you're trying to get off the planet, and then some shit attacks you because of your pollution. You're like, fuck, it's either I stay here forever and probably get killed by the biters anyways. Or we bring them freedom. And uh, obviously we know what we know what our we know what our, our engineer man chose. He chose the route of freedom. Am I out of walls? I am out of walls. Luckily there's a car for that purpose. So we put the walls all in here. There you go. Oh, that's that's such actually a satisfying noise that it makes. It's just placing like a shit ton of stuff at once. But yeah, we're just leaving that copper there. So uh, get triggered, fuckers. All right. So what we'll do right now is, so let's figure out which one is the forward one. Okay, this is the forward one, so... Uh... Fuck. It's gonna have to go, it's gonna have to like curve around this. Uh, 
Oh, what the fuck? Why am I so bad at genocide? Fuck. They like blended in because it's the fucking red ones and they're sitting on top of copper. They use stealth. Fucking hell. Like I'm like, I'm like, here I am trying to place rail lines and like... Fucking, they don't even have the common courtesy to just die. Alright, 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 alright. So, uh, alright, so this is a 2 million uranium war patch. Just looking at what we have here. Some shitty ass iron, some shitty ass iron, wow. Um, Lady Luck has not been kind to us this day. So, as I said, that was kind of the reason why I went over here to begin with, even though I didn't really need copper that badly. I mean, I'm going to need copper, but just not right now. Oops. Yeah, let's just do the fucking weird squiggle line. So the best place to load it up actually is probably up here. So one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, a little bit into there actually. So let's uh, let's put it a little bit more up actually. Now that I've figured out where I kind of want to have this go, maybe like three more. That's maybe too much. Just one. So this is gonna be probably that you remember that iron uh, line I made before uh, the iron one that was like a huge patch. It's probably exactly what this one's gonna do. It's basically gonna do a balancer somewhere in the middle, uh, and basically evenly load up the train at the very top here, and that's how it's gonna work. Uh, let's see here. So it's gonna be copper. Probably gonna be copper three. And the reason I call it copper three is because we actually have a copper two down here, which I didn't make a stop for, but yeah. Uh, and like I like I said, we're just gonna finish the wall around this, and I'm actually not gonna build a station here because uh, if you've noticed, our copper trains actually don't really have any problems. So uh, okay, wait one second. Maybe maybe I should do something like this. This is actually not a bad idea. Because all I wanted to do was kind of bounce up a little bit here. It's actually not a bad idea. Sometimes improvisation is required in this game. Unfortunately, it looks like I didn't place most of the other stuff. I mean, it's not like this shit was going to be uniform anyways. There we go. And also, why is there no oil coming through this? Alright, well, let's go figure out why uh, the flamethrowers aren't fueled. Wow, they just never came... They these uh, None of these got fueled. What? Light oil. Oh, uh, right here. Why did it? I think I just remade it, kind of a thing, and then, and then now it just got all goofed up or whatever the fuck. Whatever, fuck it. Who cares? All right. Well, we got flamethrower fuel there now. Let's uh, check on our petroleum supplies. Actually, so petroleum is actually maxed again. Actually, you know what? Maybe maybe coal liquefaction isn't that bad. Maybe I, I may have jumped the gun a little bit. I, I thought it was shit this whole time, but it actually was just like it was slowly bringing petroleum back. I mean, it's doing what I want it to, but, um, and I think that I can actually win the game if I just, uh, tap into two, a bunch of coal, coal mines all the time. Like, I think, like, having, like, two red belts full of coal would, a would actually be sufficient for winning the game. I, th I honestly think that. Uh, cause, like, as you can see, like, the one that I have here is essentially one red belt, and it, and it, the, the, when the coal liquefaction was going at 100%, that's what it was required to do. But the thing is, like, as I said, this is going to dwindle more. Like, the crude oil yield is even lower now. Um, so I suspect that at some point in the game that that will 
require more out of me, so. But I think I think actually it'll work out. I'm actually optimistic about that. This optimism came just recently, by the way. After I looked at it again. Because I thought it was actually gonna be garbage this whole time. But actually apparently the it's not a bad not a bad thing. Am I out of laser turrets? I am completely out of fucking laser turrets. So we need to go get more laser turrets. But I want to end the episode. So um, let me let me tell you what we're doing now. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done showing this out this outpost building stuff. So you get you get the theme now of what I'm trying to do. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna surround this with a wall. I'm not gonna tap into this yet. Um, I we fucking won, guys. We actually fucking won the game. We we ju we just found the Middle East right here. We just found the Middle East, and we'll have uh, what's a what's a suitable icon for that Middle East? Uh, that is entirely politically correct. What the fuck? Oh man, I love the Middle East now. Fuck, batteries no. Oh, there you go. That that's a good one. <laughs> Uh, and dude, we even get uranium from this, too? Oh, shit, son. Oh. Alright. Alright, so... Okay, alright, that changes stuff now. That changes stuff. Alright, so... Huh. I gotta think this guy out. This is This is more than I had over here, I think. This is more yield than I had. Holy shit. This is this is what I was hoping for, by the way. This is the luck I was hoping for. Is that I would come up here, radars would scan, and then I would unlock some kind of resource. Uh, that would be really good. Okay. There's no denying I need more iron ore. Um, and that's actually the more immediate thing. The, this oil is meant more for scaling up uh, to high-tech science. Uh, the co Sorry, the, the copper and the oil is meant... Yeah, the copper and the oil are meant more for high-tech science. And obviously uranium kind of helps too, because, uh, you know, like this is 1.1 million. So the minute that runs out, we're just going to tap into that one immediately. So we can big, build like a gigantic wall around that and that's fine. However, uh, the fact does remain that I think we're very limited on iron. Um, and like, so the patches we have right now are this is 1.3, this is 2.2. Um, it's not really an issue of the amount that are in there, it's that, that we haven't tapped into. The uh, issue is the, uh, it's the, it's the throughput because there's two stations here and they're not seeing a lot of love right now. So we just need more stations basically going through, uh, going for iron and stuff like that. So I think what we're going to do is, so what you're going to see me do is I'm going to finish this. Uh, so for next episode, you're going to see me finish this. Uh, I'm going to build a couple more radar dishes, obviously, up here uh, to scan more this way. Uh, and I am debating heavily to go for this, this, and this. And uh, obviously, would encompass this as well. Uh, we would get all of that. We would get, we would, uh, I would have the, the routes done, because you've basically seen how it works, the highways. It doesn't take that much time. Like, uh, well, I mean, I, I just spent a, I just spent a full hour going from like over here to over here, but it would it took me like clearing out biter nests and some other stuff, so. It's not a short game, uh, this stuff. Yeah, look at them, they're, they're fucking built right on top of the fucking oil there, look at that. Yeah, they know they know what they're sitting, they know the gold mine they're sitting on. There's even some coal there, some copper that weirdly spawned in the middle of that. All right, so this is pretty good, actually, now. Uh, oh my god, that's even higher than I saw before. This is an 8,000. Uh, one so we can make an oil train to bring it down uh, and hopefully you kind of you guys kind of see the point of the trains like I mean I could belt like the copper ore from here to down there But I mean first off it will require a lot of belts, so it's not ideal uh, But the main thing is that you know, I it's because it's just plug-and-play like it's just you have these you have the waiting yards So I mean even though these chests are unloading their cargo, they're gonna run out soon and we would like, we would prefer if the, if the, there was trains waiting to drop off their iron. That's how we like to have it go. And like, this is, this is what we like. You see this, there's copper all the time because of this. 
like you know it fills it up and then it then it goes and then that's it so unfortunately it's just there's not enough iron in the world for this so all right so that's what you're gonna see from me for next time uh i'm gonna build a bunch of highways and i can almost guarantee you evolution factor will go to point uh point nine five um and that will be when the big ass spiders spawn um i i i don't know what to do about that to be well i i mean i think it'll be okay but uh, the thing is, I do have the same, uh, the save right here, so if I decided that uh, it was actually a bad idea to go up here, I could just go back to that save and the LP isn't exactly ruined. Um, I, for, as far as my Death World runs go, I have never, uh, I've never actually made it to Behemoth Biters, I would say, because uh, usually I've won the game before that. Uh, I think I haven't ever. I, I know what they do. Um, I think maybe once. I mean, I've only, I haven't done that many Death World runs, uh, to be fair. Uh, I did basically the standard Death World, which I basically lowered my pollution to the point where um, it was basically time was the largest factor for the biters coming in and killing me. Um, Alright, 200 laser turrets. I mean, biters basically kicked my ass in that game. Um... I'm sorry, no, biters didn't kick my ass. Um, I basically laid so low that, like, they... I basically won the game. Actually, I can even show you right now. Uh, this is this is my other Death World. I'm kind of curious to know what the evolution was. Point nine. So I never made it that far, but you can see how it worked out. But like, this is how this is how resources used to spawn. This is how I used to do this stuff. I know I'm showing another world. This is my old Death World, as I said. The resources were much closer together, and and yeah, they were actually more denser the biter nest and stuff but like if you can see like the resource nest there wasn't like huge patches here like this is actually i started right in the middle here uh, with these like natural lake defenses which uh, which i did on purpose because i was trying to learn death world but like you can see like small patch 2.2 million coal 2 million this is really far away from the base by the way 3 million is pretty high but they're not that they're not that large you know but my run is they're further out but they have more i think Maybe not, I don't know, two, two million seems kind of on the par, I don't know. They, they are definitely, are, yeah, 5.5 5. 5. 5 million is not something I would have been able to get in that last run. I did, because that was before, that was in version 15. This is, this is, uh, this is another version now. Uh, I can go back and finish the wall. Okay, so, that is our objectives. So, luckily we have laser turrets producing all the time. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, and we're going to finish that. I'm not going to, as I said, I'm not tapping into this col uh, copper quite yet because we're going to need several more furnace lines for that. And I'd rather get another furnace line of uh, iron going, which means we need to tap into another source of iron. So that's uh, it's life. So uh, anyways, thanks a lot for tuning in. I will finish what I, will do, what I was doing here. And as I said, I got exactly what I wanted out of this. Uh, and also I made this uh, Fucking dumb, but whatever. It's uh, apparently I may have made it so that it isn't actually aligned properly, but it's okay. So we'll wrap this up and then um, I'll see. I'll see. Let's get the Raiders going. So, bye guys.